Welcome to this Flowpaper tutorial and user case video using Flowpaper elements to make your brochure stand out. In this tutorial, we will go over how the elements template works and take a look at some of the great features you can use to make your brochure stand out. Start by importing your publication. Next, go to the catalog, brochure or presentation category, then select the sliding pages template. To keep your original fonts, select Use the fonts in PDF. Then click Continue to finish your import. The main difference between a zine template and an elements template is that with an elements template, each element from your PDF is converted into an individual object. Let's switch to edit mode to see how this works. Here in the edit mode, you can see that I can select each individual element in this template. You can also see that Flowpaper has identified the different types of elements. You can tell that Flowpaper knows this is a header by the H1 appearing above it. Also, each and every object can be modified. You just have to select the settings icon associated with that element. Now that you have a better idea of how your PDF has been broken down by the Flowpaper elements template, let's head back to the design page to add some flair to your publication. If you head down Flowpaper's right hand menu, you will find the H1 style text category. You will also see that the H1 text style animation is set to none. Let's change this to 3D Rotate In. Now select Apply Settings to save your changes. Now, when you flip through your publication, you can see that the 3D Rotate In animation has been added to your headers. Let's try adding some animation to the body text. Head to the right hand menu again and find the body text style category. Now change the animation from none to fade in up. Then head down to the bottom of the menu to select apply settings. See how that's added a nice fade and some movement to the body text of our publication? Now let's look at making your publication stand out even more by adding video. Start by navigating to the page where you would like your video to appear. I want to add video to page 5 of my publication. So I'm going to double click it to head into the edit page. Now select add video from the right hand menu. You will be given the option of embed from service or self hosted video. I want to upload a YouTube link. So I'm going to stick with embed from service and I'm going to hop over to my browser where I already have the link pulled up. Now I just have to copy it, head back to Flowpaper and paste it under embed from service. A preview will appear so you can ensure you have the right link. I'm also going to select this option to maximize video player when clicked. Then select OK. Now we're all set to draw an area where we would like our video player to appear. As you can see, the video player is not the same size and shape as the area we'd like it to fit into. But that's OK because we already selected maximize video player when clicked, which means the video will play in the correct dimensions. Position your video how you would like it to appear, but don't worry about fitting it exactly. You can see when you head back to the design page that Flowpaper makes sure it looks good anyway. Let's click on the video to test that everything's working right. Yes, the window maximized and the video looks great. Thank you for watching this Flowpaper tutorial on using Flowpaper elements to make sure your brochure stands out. You can find out more tutorials to help you through this process online. Music